The fight went pretty much exactly like we thought. Islam Makhachev runs right through Bobby Green. I mean, makes it look like it was nothing. Green took the fight on short notice. He probably would have performed better. Maybe Islam would have beat him easier with a better game plan. Who knows? But ultimately, man, we just know that Islam Makhachev is just too good for this level of competition. Needs to be fighting top five opponents or get a title shot right after this. If he gets a title shot, it's going to be something similar to what happened with Leon Edwards, right? Leon Edwards didn't really beat a top five opponent, but he was able to get it off a big win streak. This is Islam's 10th win in a row, which is pretty massive. If anybody wins 10 fights in a row, it usually warrants a title shot. With nobody else really there, besides maybe Benil Dariush if he can come back from his injury, that can change things up. Conor McGregor can change things up, but through meritocracy, maybe Islam deserves it more than anybody else right now. All credit to Bobby Green. All respect to the guy. He didn't have to take this fight. It's a win-win situation. This really isn't a big loss to him. If anything else, he should still be in the top 15. It's crazy how he's not there yet. But the fight was pretty straightforward. There was a difference in pressure in the beginning. I was actually surprised that Bobby Green was able to push Islam back a little bit. It's actually one of the rare times where he was pushing someone back in the beginning of the fight. We know Islam is a hard guy to pressure at times. He was giving out different kind of looks. He was fainting constantly. And Islam knew that Bobby was looking for the power shot. And the pressure changed when Islam got a hold of Bobby Green for the first time. He got that respect instantly, man. There was something Bobby felt in that exchange that made him back up for the majority of the fight afterward. Islam goes forward throwing a wide right hook into a left straight and Green was trying to knock him out, man. He threw a powerful left straight from the southpaw stance. But you know what failed him? He took his eyes off of Islam right before he throws the punch. And Islam in that exact moment was slightly moving to his right side, causing that left straight to miss. If he had his eyes on Islam to know where he was moving, he probably would have caught the shot with Islam coming in and everything would have changed. Something so minor caused such a big difference because the punch would have landed. Straight punch beat looping punch. There's nothing really getting in the way besides Islam's chin. With the amount of power that Bobby threw in the punch, he greatly overextended and Islam got a hold of his neck going for the right overhook as well and Bobby Green was just backing up from there. It might have been Islam's strength in the clinch that made Bobby move away because Islam's a very strong guy. A lot of guys feel it. And the only time that Bobby was able to back Islam up was when he was just throwing strikes out there. And he wasn't able to pressure the same way he did before. And everything went downhill when he threw the kick. He should not have thrown any kicks at Islam whatsoever. Boxing, takedown defense, that's it. He threw a front kick to the body and Islam quickly grabs a hold of it. People have to remember how fast Islam is. He's extremely quick to react to things and even throw strikes out there. And from catching the kick, he was able to close the distance pretty easily, holding onto that single collar. And Bobby almost gets free. He's angling off in the correct direction and makes his body perpendicular, causing the grip with Islam's left hand to be very weak. So Green was looking to angle off and push away in that direction. But Islam double grips Bobby's left arm and pulls it down, causing Bobby to fall forward. This was intelligent by Islam Makhachev to keep it in the position long enough so he can throw in that left overhook to secure it. But notice that Bobby got wrist control with his left hand. This is very important. Keep that in mind. They stay in the clinch together for about 17 seconds. Nothing much happening except Islam is just keeping that same position, trying to find a way to take it to the ground. And Bobby uses that left grip he held onto to pivot away from the overhook on the other side so he can escape. Look at this frame right here. He's almost in the clear. But this isn't Islam's first rodeo. He single collars Bobby, pulls him down so that he can set something up while Bobby's eyes are down to the ground. Bobby's eyes are not on Islam, so you cannot see what Islam is doing up top. Islam simply slaps the side of his head as Bobby isn't looking so he can get Bobby's attention up high, opening up a low double leg. Beautiful setup from Islam Makhachev and easily takes him to the ground. Now, Bobby goes for the knee shield right away and it was working. It was keeping Islam from transitioning on him, but he looked to transition and this made it worse because elevating Islam Makhachev and trying to shrimp under him getting through the back door made it easy for Islam to just establish half guard and still find a pretty hard to just transition normally so he used the Kimura. This is actually pretty interesting because he just beat Dan Hooker in his very last fight using the same technique getting a sort of threat out of Bobby that he saw previously right he saw Islam do this to Dan Hooker so Green puts all of his defense to defend this he leans to his right side to take away the Kimura threat but that Kimura was only a bait. With Bobby leaning to his right side like this it made it so easy for Islam to slice right on through into full mount. That was pretty much the beginning of the end. Bobby Green was stuck. He tried to get off from his back, tried to roll over, nothing worked, just minimizing the damage as much as possible. Islam raining down shots until the rep pulled him off. I guess you can give Islam the title shot. I don't know what's gonna happen with Connor. I don't know what's gonna happen with Oliveira, who he wants to fight because that's ultimately what it comes down to. But through a meritocracy, by default, because there isn't really that guy that beats some top five opponent to establish his title shot, Islam is probably the guy right now 
that deserves it more than anybody else. Dariush is still out with an injury, so I guess you would have to give the is on Makashev, but we do have to wait until Charles Oliveira fights Justin Gaethje because that's going to happen in May, almost two and a half months away, so we're going to see what happens at that time. And as for Bobby Green, he should fight a top 15 opponent for sure. I want to see him fight maybe Brad Riddell. That would be crazy, man. Bobby Green versus Brad Riddell would be insane. Definitely the fight I want to see up next. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.